L let's see. I knew it. Never better. You. You. Did I say you could get up? <gasps> Chris! Oh, spare me the heroics. Get up! I'm hitting left and right. Get up! You... You're the leader, aren't you? So, what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say. Young one, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off! Oh no. Hey. Get away from my friend! <laughs> or what? You'll kill me? Nah. So what's your plan then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid lightner. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Nah. But they might. What? It's the people we spared! Along the way with Lancer, everyone, we did it, boys! What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad. You're being overthrown. When I told everyone we were fighting Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king. That accepts them. Me. Now I'm the dad. That's not how it works. You idiots! The Lightners are your enemies! Fools! I'll kill you! I'll kill you all! Yikes, I think someone needs a timeout. Go to your room, Dad. No! <laughs> you yeah, alright, Chris? Dude, his eyes. He pushed the hair out of his eyes. Now he's serious. Nani. Chris, Susie. Oh, you're alright. Yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. Chris, Susie. I I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost... We almost... Susie, you were right. I... I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? Ugh, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then... You might just hurt someone you care about. Aw, Susie. You're beginning to sound like a real hero. Ugh, don't get used to it. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? Well, uh... See ya. I wanna stay. I wanna stay and fight for the peace of the world. Huh? Chris, you wanna... Go say goodbye to everyone, don't you? <laughs> well... If you're gonna make me, I guess we can go back for a bit. Let's go. We've done it. Credit sequence. Chris, Susie, you came back. Uh, well, Chris just wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye too. Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. Way to go, kids. Now we can go back to making the puzzles we love. And thanks to your donation, I could buy a new hat and some shaving cream. We've done it. Best, you're the best. Honestly, we owe you. You're absolutely amazing. The great Burk. Even a little ball can say something like thank you. T-Mobile Ball is here. Thank you, I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the by, I asked Seam to come here. Sham, Sham, I remember Sham. There wasn't any interest. Aw, oh, did we screw up with Sham? Darn horsey, you done in, you've done us a big hill. Now all of enough's pieces can live in pieces. You did it. You ousted that rotted tyrant. I'll happily accept the bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears, in which case, I did nothing. Wonderful work, mine amigos. 
Thou hast toppled is the tyrant. Freed our creeds. Truly, the history shall not forget the tale of Ro Royal Scott and the three heroes. Yep, you really, you really did it. I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I disliked my job. The future looks sweet, like a pile of bees puke. In which, and honestly, I think, a kingdom with so much hope. I hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next B day too. We'll have one soon, if that's possible. Hathi looked at you proudly. Kiss? What's going on? I slept through everything. What the hell is happening? What ho? What about us? Aren't we gonna be restored as kings? Ah, my treasure is unharmed. Carry on then. Us animals decided it's okay if the king stays in the cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. Alright. It's M Mario. Mamma Miba! What a celebration! This calls for a cake. And this time, I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it. I'll be honest, at first we weren't sure who to make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I'll think he'll be fine. Let's go. Susie. No, that's the wrong voice. Susie! Blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were ho going home ways. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, really? <laughs> that's funny! I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Huh? I mean, I didn't not want to. Uh, so you're the king now, huh? Yes, and I'm changing some big rules. First, lighteners are now legal. Second, prison is only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was, uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. But it's you guys, so I trust you. This is gonna be another subversion. It's all gonna lead up to this very happy thing. We're gonna go to the fountain and ruin the world. And then credit screen. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, guess we'll just see, I guess. Uh, well, see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. It's him. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. Dude, we, I think we, like, did it. I think we did good on the pacifist. I'm a little worried we might have forgotten one person, which is the person this guy was talking about, but no, it's first time through. Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Hell if I know, I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. Well, I mean, that's, that's all we can do now. Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? I don't really want to, but uh, I... I just wanted to say, I, I, I really enjoyed meeting you two, and, hey, can you stop mumbling in your hat for a sec? I can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Chris, Susie, I, is that supposed to be Toriel? Is that the, is that the reference? It's Toriel? It would make sense because she also had fire powers. Cool little cool little knockback you know what i'm saying i hope i can see you again soon next time i'll make sure i'll make you lots of yummy cakes all right <laughs> nani uh yeah sure dude <laughs> let's go chris is this the king from the first games like edgy younger side they get married and then they have a kid that looks like me and that's why they're so fo bonded to it that's just a theory boys Look at this Chrono Trigger ass final walkway. When I play Chrono Trigger on the channel, you guys will see what I'm talking about. Is this the fountain? Don't know how, but it feels like we've stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Oh boy, what is this? 
Little rock and roll, baby. can't see anything. Hey, watch it! Huh? huh? The unused classroom? How'd we get here? Hey, Chris. What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Alphys we couldn't find Chalk. Playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. It's a light switch. So, to be honest with you, we're running a little late on the time, but I have heard that this is pretty much the end of this. It's a yellowed, poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. It looks amazing. Don't talk about Alvin like that. Why is there a door down? And how did you know it was there? Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else supposed to go on home by now. Guess Alphys will know better than to ask us next time, huh? Dude, they're gonna think we flippin' boned. Oh boy, when's when's the big the big plot twist? Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Yeah, whenever. Down to hang out. Chris. Let's go back there tomorrow, all right? Let's go. The door is locked. I don't think any of these doors actually work. The only door in the game is down. Also, let's can we go again? All right. No no little secrets. Where's my mama? What is this music? Or the sounds? It's like I'm in the jungle. It's Toriel. Oh. So this is Toriel. Or Toriel doesn't work here anymore. Kids books, some of them used to be yours. Oh, so she was my teacher and adopted me because I had no home to go to. It's all making sense. Dude, that head, or not, that, that mouse looks like the Trojan head. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Is that the Trojan? I don't know, actually. Ring, ring. The Chris, whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for like half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother word sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Whoa, mama. Huh? A, a friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer, but when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Click. We've done it. We have made a friend along the way, and, and we even get to go to bed a little early. I'm a big proponent of sleep. Library. Oh my god, there's so much to explore, and it's this guy. Chris, you survived Susie, and I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to Draw Dragons is 2,583 2, days overdue. However, Chris, I am a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64.23. Consider it, Chris. Do I have that much money? I have $2. What happened? Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Gotta go to college, so Tem Stubby hard! She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. Yeah, I, I kind of can't. They're my guy. Ah, uh, Undyne. Hey, punk, get off the road! You're blocking traffic! Oh, wait, it's Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. Uh, I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Aw, oh, you want to help me? Sure, punk. 
get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. What? There's a dark world inside the school. Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyways. That's a job for the school board. Alphys? Who's Alphys? No idea who you're talking about. Why? Well, did they do something illegal? Gotcha. If I see Alphys, I'll tackle them. <laughs> They're as good as dead. Maybe, is this post-Undertale or is this pre-Undertale? I don't, I don't know. Or is this not even Undertale at all? Oh my god. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. It's an obligatory hospital piano, shrunk to fit the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it. Plink. I'd like to play more. Alright, well. Hmm, you usually play the piano a bit more beautifully. Is everything okay? You do seem a little sick. Ah, policia, policia. Someone's coming up to the window. They just closed the blinds. Fantastic. I love... This is where all my tax dollars are going to? I don't pay the taxes. I'm in kindergarten. QC's diner. Who the hell are you? Ice me up. Ice me up, boss. Icy's pizza. Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 pets of flavors? We've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepperonis, and more. Stop on down the ice, ease, ease, pizza, pizza. Oh God, someone's actually here. Uh, ice, ease, pizza. You're number one spot for piping home pits of pizza. Hey, hey, wait a second. I recognize you. Who are you? Little buddy, it's me. Oh. I want to chat for a minute before I lose my mind? It's the guy from the first game. Make no mistake, little buddy. Icy's pizza is hell. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing, be a team player. There's no I in pizza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to college where Azzy is. Then I'll get a te theater degree, become a famous actor, and let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. Hey, hey, little buddy, what's up? Ah, yes, little buddy. Good idea. Meet the rogues gallery. Blue ears, soft serve obsession, obsessed, no concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. The warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza-related injuries. Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple guy, man, that guy. You gotta, actually, does that guy even work here? Ah, my co-workers, where would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. Do you know when Azzy's coming home? You, you can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around town like old times. Picking up, for example, chicks. Which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. But one time, Undyne made eye contact with me while she was writing me a speeding ticket. Yep, same as always. The entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all of the employees are outside in the costume. Interesting. Okay. It's the guys from the first game. I like the vibe of the waitresses here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. It's better than breaking the ice. Oh wait, you're supposed to break the ice. Dude, remember when we used to skip the first hour of class to come here? You were fine. But I almost had to repeat the year because of it. Those crepes were mad worth though. Delinquency is the best condiment. Ice Wolf does not like ice and drink. Ice Wolf likes ice to be drink. So, for you two girls, that'll be crepes, a cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood. Yeah, I wonder what that's for. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is, I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Oh, it's also- Dude, everybody's here. It, this is the smash of indie games. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. Uh, we'll take the special, and do you have any edible glitter? 
You, the youngest one, won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. That was kind of like a Fred Fredburger impersonation. Hey there, haven't seen you in a while, hun. I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your families would come in and order the special. Of course, things happened, and then y'all stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate, and you two'd sit down at the table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? Nice. On the house, hon. What happened to my brother? Is my brother Flowey? It's Sans. Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially consider I've never met you before. The name's Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why, got anyone I should know better? Whoa there, tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like. I got Sans' number. I went- Hey bud, are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know? Wow, you answered quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. You should probably hesitate more. Well, guess I shouldn't complain, huh? What are we gonna be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just gonna be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Time to call him and him to be like, hey, I'm right here. Hello. You have reached the hotline for idiot babies. Please press 1 for idiots, 2 for babies, and 3 for idiot babies, and 4 for none. Ah, you're an idiot baby. To tell you the truth, I'm one too. Let's try our best, okay? Knock, knock, knock. No response, but the distant trousel of bones. Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of town? Wow, my mommy told me, told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Oh, I'm the only human here. That makes sense. Huh? That sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Huh? That sounds like the knock of... Oh, I thought maybe I would... I would gain ability. Yo, Chris. You survived Susie, haha. <laughs> I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like, one time me, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball. And she just kept creep creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when we, then the ball rolled over to her, she just, uh, froze solid. And kicked the ball as hard as she could, right into Officer Undyne's car. Then, Undyne came out, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us a handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Haha. <laughs> Whoa, you're lucky, Chris. You've got to miss class at Alphys. That's not fair. Haha. <laughs> If I skip class, my dad did never let me see hear the end of it. Haha, <laughs> that's actually not even remotely funny. Oi, Snowy, what did I tell you about knocking on the door so hard? Don't do it. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. Alright, have I gotten better at knocking? Nope. Maybe the end. Uh, what? Oh, Chris, you're okay. I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher. You no, know, you're not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. What are you doing here? It's a saucer of milk. What? You don't have a home? Oh, Chris, d did you want to talk about something? Oh, the saucer of milk. It's for my kitty, Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. Huh? What does it look like? Well, I've never actually seen her, but ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I'd like to think that there's a cat. My cat. The less talking we gotta do, Ralph, is the better. Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So, in return, I can let you borrow, uh, my homemade DVD collection of The Simptons. You know, the sitcom about the middle class monster family? It's got every episode in all 28 seasons. It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. But make sure you don't watch past the second season since they just rebooted it as the Simpsons Turbo and all they started driving around there is the Simpsons joke. 
I think. I imagine. And they were friends with the animal vehicles too, and let's not get into Simpton's Galaxy Force, the Simpsons discover another Earth on the other side of the wooden the gravitational field, just huh? You don't want to watch it? Th that's okay, Chris. Alright. So we're gonna split this bad boy up, obviously. Because this is the longest final episode of all time. Cat people. Lizard people. Flower king. Okay, hold on. Jeez. This is the biggest town. Knock, knock, knock. Ah, uh, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you prance on home? Chrissy, like, long time no see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Why would I say go away? That's so rude. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course, just get us some burgers. Then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries too. Then, a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good. I ate like six. And then I like, suddenly got so sick I had to go home. Man. So like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? Chrissy, like, long time no see. She asked if I was busy. Ugh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? Doesn't she realize she'll never be like me? Honestly, her whole family is like, so trashy. Once her sister served me a coffee and I swear it was ha it was half cat fur. Like, get a hairnet, girl, for, like, your whole body. Hey, neighbor, baby. When's your brother Doug gonna come by? <laughs> my girls would love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> little Chrissy, like, what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything though. Your choice. Ooh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. Well, we, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday, I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she, like, told me. My playing is an anti-blessing for planet hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my little, my fricked up little sis. Like, that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy. She's like my life villain. Like, the other day, I went to see Cat Petters 2, and the only other person in the theater was her. Then I went to QC's and ordered a Cat Pacino, and then she, like, was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. Uh, copygator? Copysaurus? Copadile? IDK? She sucks. You think she's got any more dialogue? Nope. Okay. Aw, oh, Chrissy, you just wanted to say hi. That's adorable, now get out of here. There's some kind of scratching noises coming from inside. That is kind of weird. Don't like that one bit. Okay, this, that up is the way to the future, the way to my home. Let's go to the Flower King. This is my dad. Is that a beer or a watering can? Dum de dum. Oh, there's someone there. Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I... Oh, Chris! Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hug... I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. What about the money? It's a cash register. There's not much change inside. It's a flower. Oh, a big yellow flower. Hmm. Hmm. Say, Chris, I was thinking, perhaps when Ezreal comes home, we could all go to the diner, just like the old times. My treat. Wait, no, this is my brother, huh? Doesn't that sound yummy? Is this Doug? Oh my god, the, the seven souls. Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. It's a green flower projected in a container. It's an orange flower. Flower in a container. It's a yellow flower projected in a container. 
It's a golden flower protected in a container. It's a cyan flower, a blue flower, and a purple flower. Okay. There's some dirty fur stuck in the drain. Nah, I'm alright with that one. It's a door, it's locked. Sounds good to me. Well, goodbye. I was thinking, perhaps when Ezreal comes home, I can repeat the same thing I just said. Yep, that's Doug. Oh, Chris, before you go... Here, for your mother. Aw, secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. Aw! He probably brings us home every time he comes back from work. But that's, you know, that's nice. What is over here? It's these guys, the lovers. Nothing better than hanging out at the lake with my best bro. Watching the waves go by. True. My best bro winky face. Ah, watching the waves go by in a pond that has no waves. Oh no, there are waves. Little tiny ripples. It's a cool effect. I don't even... Oh, it's the onion. Hey there, noticed you were here. It's me, you know, me, right? Of course you do. I'm real popular, I just don't have any friends. But it's okay, you hear? Because you're, you're here. Will you be my friend? Oh, oh, I'm so happy you're here. So happy, I, I don't know what to do. I don't remember being this happy before. What's your name, friend? Hippopotamus. Huh, Hippa, Hyper, Hoppa, Hippopotamus. That's you, big name, but it's worth it. Oh, excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. Actually, since no one talks to me, I forgot my own name. Hippopotamus. Will you give me a name? Onion. Hmm, it's perfect, you hear? I don't know what it means, but it's perfect. Hmm, it feels like I've shaped like me. It feels like it smells like me. Huh, what was the name? Uh, yeah, it's perfect. Uh, that's my name. Thank you for giving me a name. I'll cherish it, you hear? Uh, Hippo, uh, Hyper Potato Mask, that's your name, right? I want to tell you something tomorrow. Something I can only tell a friend. Come back soon, you hear? Alright, goodbye, Onion. So, something big's going down tomorrow. Something bigly. Big League Chew. And if you're not on board, say goodbye. Alright. We're in there like a bread square, boys. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time, alright? Alright, tempting. Nah, nah, nah. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? Easy peasy, we've done everything we 100% of the game, basically. Probably, probably not. Oh, time for the disaster to strike. We'll see what the Delta Rune's really about. That's the Delta Rune right there in the middle of the floor. Are you having a nightmare there, bud? What the? I've had some pretty bad nightmares, but nothing that propelled me out of bed. What is happening? Am I possessed? I don't like this. What is going on? Excuse me? What? Was I playing as Flowey? The entire time? When the light is running low and the shadows start to grow and the 
places that you know Seems okay like lots of decompress here there's a fight inside your soul uh, I get you know there's a lot of things leading to flowey and I, I guess I was flowey the whole time I think or whatever Flowey's real name was, I forgot. I, I haven't played on the jail in a long time. I'm with you in the dark. Jesus Christ. Well, that does it for chapter one, I suppose. We'll see if there's any post-credits scenes. Nope, it literally just exits out all right well thank you guys for watching when the chapter two comes out whenever that'll be uh, expect more of that on the channel and uh i'm excited i i was i knew there was gonna be a twist obviously there always is but that was something else i ripped my own heart out and put it in a cage i feel like there's like a nirvana song that alludes to that maybe but uh if you want more dunder mifflin undertale uh deltarune let me know thank you very much well thank you thank you very much that's it